In some designs, pistons can be tapered on one side or on both sides. If the piston is flat, the platens should be flat. If the piston is tapered, the platens should match the taper. If you do not make allowances for tapered components, your bond will fail. For example, if the platens only contact the inner diameter of the torque converter ring, expect low adhesive shear strength on the outer diameter. If the platens only contact the outer diameter of the torque converter ring, expect low adhesive shear strength on the inner diameter. We're going to do a time and temperature study. We want to make sure we set our bonder up for the optimum bond and that we don't have any problems with it. A critical component of the bonding process is the calculation of the net facing pressure, which is required to create a successful bond on each particular piston or damper assembly. If you don't have access to a bond pressure calculator, here are the calculations you'll need to perform. First, determine the surface area of your torque converter ring. This basically involves determining the surface area of two circles, the outer diameter, or the OD, and the inner diameter, or the ID, of the torque converter ring, and subtracting the smaller number from the larger. Your formula should look like this. Pi times the outer diameter divided by 2 squared minus pi times the inner diameter divided by 2 squared equals the surface area. Next, we take the net facing pressure we want, a figure between 200 and 250 psi, and multiply that by the surface area we just calculated. Then, divide the area of the piston, which is calculated by pi, times the piston diameter divided by 2, squared. And that totals our air pressure needed. The formula will look like this. So our two formulas will look like this. Keep in mind that every shop environment is different. You may have to choose a higher or lower net facing pressure depending on the equipment that you use. Just make sure your net facing pressure stays between that critical range of 200 psi and 250 psi. You can also find these formulas under Tech Tips on the Raybestos Powertrain website at www.raybestospowertrain.com.